Alright guys, I am really psyched that you're here for video number two in my series on making a mobile game with PhoneGap and JavaScript. Now just like I promised, I'm going to be showing you what you're going to need if you're going to follow along with this tutorial series. Alright, so we won't waste any more time. I'm going to go ahead here and open up a new browser and I'm just going to type in developer.apple.com and now we're just going to start here and we're actually going to jump right over here into the resources and here you're going to see right down under tools and languages Xcode and if you click on that we're going to come over here and just click download now this is going to give you a couple of options here you can either get the beta or you can get the normal version which is what I'd recommend um, that's just going to bring you to the app store on your computer and from there just download Xcode it'll take like half an hour maybe but while that's installing we'll head on over here to phonegap.com and as I explained in the last video this is the framework that we're going to be using to build our app and I'm just gonna click install now we're actually going to need to use terminal to download phonegap but before we do that we need to download node.js and conveniently there's a link right here for it and this is going to take you right to the Node.js website and from here you can download I'm not going to install it again because I already have it but just go through the installation process and once that's installed we're going to jump back over to PhoneGap alright so to install PhoneGap like I said we're going to need Terminal and if you don't know what Terminal is if you never used it I'm going to show you real quick how to find it and what we're supposed to do to download PhoneGap and to start a new project Alright, so we're going to head on down here, and we're going to open up a new finder window. And we're just going to jump down into applications, and all the way at the bottom, you're going to find utilities. And under utilities, all the way at the bottom again, we're going to find terminal. And just go ahead and double click that, open it up. I'm just going to get rid of this. So here's your terminal. Now this installation process is really straightforward. I mean all we're going to do here is just copy this code and then just come back over and paste it. And then when you run this now, it's going to ask for your password and that's if you have a password on your computer, um, you just enter that here. It's, it's not going to show up, it's a little confusing, but just type in the password and then hit enter and it should work. I'm not going to do that here because I already have it installed. So I'm just going to clear this out. Now you'll know when it finishes installing because it'll tell you that it's complete. Just give it a couple minutes. That should be good. Once that's finished installing, we're just going to type in what it says right here. So I'm going to come over here and type phone gap create my app. Whereas in this case, it wouldn't be my app. At this point, you could give it any name you wanted to. For this video, we're just going to call it app game then we're going to click enter just give it a second to create the project alright and once the project's created we're just gonna jump down here and open up a new finder window and under your user directory here you'll see at the bottom of the window we have app game that we just created so we can just open up this folder really quick. Um, we're not really concerned with all these other folders at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to jump back over and we got to finish up these last two lines here. So this next line is CD and then the name of our app, which was App Game. And what this is going to do is just move us inside that folder. And then from there, we're just going to type in PhoneGap Run iOS instead of Android in this case. Now this is just going to take a few seconds to load so we'll just wait on that. When it's ready it'll tell you it completed and then from there we can actually jump back over to the finder window and if you double click on platforms you'll see there's an iOS folder. If you click on that in here is our project. Now I'm assuming that you already have Xcode installed and are ready to open up this project. But first, I'm actually going to go back and I'm going to copy this iOS folder and I'm actually going to move to the desktop and paste it. All right, cool. So now that that's on the desktop, we can click on it. See, we have all our files here. And I'm just going to quickly rename it to our app game. 
And again, it really doesn't matter what the name of the folder is. And that's not how it would show up in the app store or anything. You name all the files inside the project itself. So I'm just going to go ahead here and double click on the Hello World Xcode project. And that is going to open it up. Now, if you've never used Xcode before, um, don't worry about it. It's not that confusing and we're not going to be using it very often anyways. We mostly just use it for testing. But if you click on the little arrow up here on the top left hand corner, um, it's going to open up all of the Hello World documents. And you got folders and files here. Uh, we're not really worried about anything in here except if you click on staging. Um, we'll see a www folder and that is where all of our files are stored. As you can see there's an index page and you know there's a JS folder, images folder, uh, CSS folder, all the stuff you'd see in web development. Now I do want to say that if you are serious about developing for iOS you should definitely consider signing up to be an Apple developer. It does cost hundred dollars a year but it is a necessity if you're planning on publishing games or apps to the App Store. You're not going to be able to test on your actual device if you don't have a license. So I would definitely recommend it. But in the meantime, we can actually test out the uh, Sample Phone Gap project just by using the simulator that Xcode provides us. So I'm actually going to jump up here to the top left hand corner again. and. First, I'm just going to change the simulator device to the 5S rather than the 6 Plus, just so hopefully it fits on the screen a little bit nicer. And then I'm just going to come over here and click the Run button. And this may take a little while for it to load, especially if this is your first time opening Xcode. Uh, but just give it a little while, it'll load eventually. And when it does, you'll be able to see here our sample phone gap project, and it's telling you that the device is ready. Alright guys, well I think this has been a really productive video. We managed to download Xcode, get PhoneGap set up, and start a new project. So I'm hoping you guys are following along and really enjoying this video series so far. And in the next video, we are going to jump right into some coding. So stick around. And remember, if you like what you're seeing, make sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. That would be awesome, guys. Alright, thanks.